Hi, this is Daniel Schmon. I'm going to run through looking at the version history for a page in SharePoint. So I'm on a SharePoint site now, and even though it's quite heavily branded, I can still see my ribbon because the branding allows for that. Now I want to see what changes were made to this page. So to do that, I'll click on the page tab in the ribbon, and then page history. Here, now I'm on a page called version diff.aspx, and this shows me the differences between the current version, which is 2.0, and the most recent version before that, version 1.0. There weren't actually any changes to the content, which is why nothing really appears here at the moment. So I can change that to compare to version 0.1. And now this version diff page will compare version 2.0 to version 0.1 and show me all the changes. And as you can see here, some text was removed, some text was added, and there are a number of changes there. I can also have a look at all the page versions by clicking this version history link. And that takes me to another page called versions.aspx, which displays all of the versions that currently exist in SharePoint for this page. The modified column here shows me what fields changed for each check-in. And if I go down to 0.1, uh, you can see all of the changes, all of the fields rather, were changed because it was the first check-in, so they were set initially. Scroll up a bit. Um, in environment version 1.0, only the page content and rule intro fields were changed. And in this view, it doesn't actually show me a difference between the changes. Rather, it shows me the entire value of the text uh, or the field that was changed at the time of check-in. And in the most recent version, 2.0, no fields were actually changed at all. So nothing appears here. And all I can see are the comments, which is where I uh, indicated that I renamed the page to organizing URLs. So that runs through the version history for a page in SharePoint. And the version of SharePoint, of course, is 2013.